Now I'm going to show you how to use Gboard, um, which is a third-party keyboard uh, for your iPhone. Um, it's made by Google. It's the Google keyboard. So if you've ever used an Android device, this is probably the keyboard that was on that device. So the first thing you want to do is go into the App Store and search for Gboard and go ahead and download and install it. Once that's done, you'll just open up the app. It's going to open up and show you a few things that the Gboard uh, keyboard can do, uh, you know, like glide to text and things like that. But we're just going to tap on get started here at the bottom. Once it does that, it gives you the instructions of how to go and allow access um, to your phone. So um, you can use uh, the Gboard keyboard if you want to. So it says tap keyboards, turn on Gboard, and turn on allow full access. So in order to do all that, we're just going to go ahead and tap get started. And you see it brings us to the menu here, and we're going to go ahead and click on Keyboards. And we're going to turn on Gboard, and then we're going to turn on um, Allow Full Access. So this allows full access to um, all your different apps and things like that, not the information that's in them or anything private like that. Um, it just means it allows the keyboard to be pulled up in all of those apps. So we're just going to go ahead and turn that on and click Allow. So once that's on, we're just going to go back to the Gboard app. And you can see on here we should be good to go. Sometimes if the Apple keyboard is still here um, and hasn't switched over to Gboard, you just long press on the globe. And this op menu will look a little different for you, but you'll see the Gboard keyboard and you just go ahead and tap on that. Okay, but if it already shows up for you, then you're good to go. You can tell by the G logo here in the left corner of the keyboard. So once we're in here, I just click the stick button at the top, or you can click the OK button at the bottom, whatever works for you. You see a bunch of different settings that you have in here, a uh, bunch of different keyboard settings. You can turn on and off, uh, glide to typing, emoji suggestions, voice input. Um, and a bunch of other settings that you can take a look through in here. Um, you can clear your dictionary. Dictionary is like words you've saved while using the keyboard. Um, sometimes it'll think you've misspelled something, but maybe it's like a last name that you know you spelled correctly. While you're typing in, you can actually save it to your dictionary. Um, the other main thing here is themes. So if you jump into themes, you get a bunch of different options here. So the default options is you can have the white keyboard or the black keyboard. You can also click on custom and custom will open up your photos and you can um, select one of your own photos as a background. Or you can select from some pre-select uh, landscape photos that they have that you can go ahead and download and use as your background if you want. Um, and there's a bunch of op options that kind of go along that route as backgrounds. But if you can see up here on our two default keyboards, we have this little pencil icon. That's the edit button. So we're just going to go ahead and click edit. And from here, you can see you get a bus bunch of uh, customized controls. You can change the background of the keyboard, as you can see here, to one of these colors. We're going to go ahead and change it to black. We can change um, the keys. So you see if we do black and black, you can kind of no longer see the keys. So you might want to pick like a different color. Let's choose like, let's see, something like that. Blue looks pretty good. And then you can also change the letter of the actual text here. So you can change it to something like that to customize um, the keyboard. You can also uh, enable a border around the keys. So if you do that, you can enable a border that kind of goes and highlights the keys. Um, and you can go ahead and change um, the color of the like side buttons, the return buttons, and the number of buttons to something else as well if you want to. And the key pops out, so like you can see it's red, or sorry, it's white. But if we can go ahead and change that to red, and you can see now it's red. We can also see that the letter E when it pops out is black, but we can change that to a different color like purple or blue or whatever you might want it to be. So it is a pretty fully customizable keyboard. You can also change the color of the glide swipe, 
to something if you want. You can also change how big that is. Um, so there's a ton of customizable options here and then you'll just click done and you'll see it'll save up in your custom things, uh, custom themes. So you can go ahead and switch back to something else um, and make a bunch of different custom themes and switch between them if you want to. Um, there are a bunch of other uh, settings in here that you can go ahead and take a look at. There's a bunch of stickers and stuff you can go and download. Um, so you have a bunch of options here, different languages, obviously. Uh, so just make sure you go and check it out. But yeah, that's how you set up Gboard um, on your iPhone. And as you can see, if we jump into something like here, um, you'll see my keyboard that I have selected will pop up. So that's how you adjust some of the settings and use Gboard on your iPhone.